Okay. Good morning. I'm Mary Ann Patinio. I'm one of the co-chairs for the Fair Lawn Americans with Disability Act Advisory Committee, otherwise known as the ADA Committee. And we're here today for a very important reason. We're going to celebrate the ribbon cutting for our new handicap accessible electronic door, which is a long time in coming. And in addition to several committee members here, I'm also very pleased to announce that we have some council members here to support our cause. We have our council liaison to the ADA committee, Councilwoman um, Lisa Swain. We have our deputy mayor, John Cosgrove. And in the back, we have our council member, Kurt Peluso. And uh, I'm just glad everybody could be here for this, for this event. Hi. <laughs> Happy to be here today. Um, one, of the issues, one of the reasons the, the committee was formed, I think, back in 1996, was to make known or aware, make people aware of the little issues that people who are handicapped have. And one issue has been the button to open this store in a, in a reasonable fashion. Um, you know, people mainstream um, don't realize the little issues that people may have. And it's our job as this committee to get out there and whether it's having a dance every couple of months at the community center or a button here on the door or a ramp at the memorial pool, we, we're here to make people aware of those issues and, and actually be their advocates to make sure things happen to benefit everybody and, and, and in essence make the community a better place to live. So I'm very pleased to have members of our council here today too because they realize this challenge and what we're trying to do. And if I might add, um, this is not the work of a single individual, so I'm most proud to introduce the members of the committee that are here present today. Not everybody could be here, but we have Catherine Scalante, we have Karen Peterson, Christina Catrone, Dario, please help me with your last name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Wagner, and Suryan Aitchison. And just one other thing, the two girls are from, or young ladies. <laughs> uh, from the high school, our senior class, and the seniors and the high school students have been getting very, very much involved as well. So this committee is growing. We've reached out to a lot of the groups in town, and we're gaining a lot of support. And I thank everybody as well. Okay. Without further ado, we're most pleased to do the official ribbon cutting. Like that. I'm going to drop it, all right? Say hi to you because you're my special friend. How do you feel having this happen? Isn't this pretty cool? It's great. I don't have to struggle with the door anymore. But you have to carry the scissor from now on wherever you go. <laughs> right. Promise me you'll do that? Yes. Congratulations on having Thank this you. done too. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we just had a kind of an exciting event happen here today. We cut the ribbon for this special electronic door, which I thought was very exciting. And I noticed you guys in the crowd. Well, introduce yourself. Tell me why, tell me why you're both here. What's your name? I'm Laura Wagner, and I'm the committee chair of the Helping Hands Committee at the high school. And what's your name? My name is Daria Voskovoynikov, and I am the Board of Education representative for the high school, but I also oversee the Helping Hands Committee. Tell me about the Helping Hands Committee. What's that all about? Um, it's, a, it's a club to get involved with the Bridges students. The Bridges students are students that have uh, uh, they're students with mental disabilities, and they moved up from the middle school to the high school. So now we're trying to get them more involved in our school so that they don't uh, feel like they're all alone with themselves. We want to kind of, you know, get them involved with the other students. And uh, Laura's done a really great job of, you know, bringing them to general assembly with all the other kids. And they, they love it. They love, you know, being more involved in our activities. That's, that's a great thing. Yeah. Actually, that really, really is. You're, you're involved. How do you feel with being involved with what you do? I really love getting involved. I mean, I have a brother who has disability, so that's really the reason why I got involved. I love working with the kids, and really that you just see how much fun they have with us, and 
it's a huge change from before when they were so kind of like isolated in their classroom and now they you know, get to It's get amazing out. that people really haven't been doing this like all along. Yeah. yeah. When you really think about it, that this has yeah. been an ongoing situation for a lot of people for a very long time. Yeah. And like all of a sudden someone like rang a bell and said, oh, why don't we do this? I think it should have been happening all along. Do you, yeah. What's your thoughts about that? Well, yeah, I, I definitely agree. And I mean, the committee was created last year because the class was new to the high school, but Memorial School had um, a special friends program where kids could get involved. So I think it's a great thing. And we're going to try to bring that to the high school for next school year. I think that's very exciting. How do you feel doing all this? What's it like for you on the inside? I just, I love it. I mean, when you see how happy the kids are and, you know, I think they really, really get a lot out of it and the kids love working with them. I think it's incredibly gratifying and being involved with this today. Yeah. How do you feel about being here today? I think it's great. I think just, uh, you know, it's just such a good feeling to be able to do such a small thing for someone that, you know, just an electronic door that, you know, things for, that we take for granted sometimes. It's the, it, you know, yeah, exactly. We yeah. don't we don't understand how hard it is to just open a door sometimes, and I think it's really important that we're taking steps towards making life easier for a lot of people. So, how do you feel with a crazy guy with a hatch talking to you with a camera? <laughs> Great. You're okay. You're okay with it's all a this. Good time. It's a good time. Listen, I really appreciate it, and a lot of people from town appreciate it too. I think other people are waiting to chat with you. God bless you both and continue success. And by the way, if people want to join or get involved, is there a way of doing that through the school maybe? Like you make announcements about getting people to like volunteer and help out too? Yeah, I mean anyone, everyone in student government is assigned to a committee. So we have our set members that anyone can join who okay. wants to get involved. Great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you both for uh, being no here problem. and doing what Thank you're you. doing. Thank and, you. Uh, go to chat with those folks. <laughs> Thank All you. right, guys, I'm going to keep on walking around. So stay with me as Inside Fail On will continue.